I just turned off the main logging road. Actually, this is quite near the uh, highway. Um, it's a few hundred yards, maybe 500 yards down that way. And um, I've never seen this before. It's like a little camp spot. Wasn't that interesting? Let's see what they got going on here. I do worry about nails. Shit like that. Oh yeah, people have been using it for a campsite. And with that background right there, there's definitely been some shooting going on. And oh look, an old car door. It's nice. And somebody's old dirt from their planted pots. Well, isn't that nice? Anyways, this place is doing a pinch though. They would do in a pinch. Surrounded by trees. Could be very nice. Just need again to bring a big green bag and clean up all this crap first before you can enjoy yourself. Nice. Alright. Well, that's gross. Somebody's rotten old pickled. Gross. There's some seepage from somewhere too. Coming out of the side of that uh, rock wall. Weird. Old camp chair. Disgusting crap all over the place. And some creepy bones lying around. Ugh. Ugh. There's one over there that's like half buried. Gruesome. See? Ooh. That's not good. Yeah, it's very hills have eyes around here. Not sure if this one would be my choice. Well, let's keep moving on. I am seriously in need of some camera gear. I'm gonna get right on it. Cause my arm is getting tired. Here's this other spot. That might be an okay place to tuck in. Not today though. Well, I'm going to call that a ghost chair. Hey folks, I was just up on uh, Jordan Ridge here and I saw this side road, thought I'd drive down. I can certainly hear the river. So I thought I'd pop in here and have a peek. Looks like there used to be a bridge right here. Yeah, there must have been a bridge at one point.
there it is. I'll have to look up the name of the river. I'm not sure what it is. Isn't it beautiful? beautiful never would have even guessed this was here what a pretty little waterfall always an adventure right if it was summertime I'd have my feet in there Think possibly if this would be a nice place to camp. Just looking around here, people have definitely done it. There's a bunch of shooting happening here. Well, maybe we'll try that for next time, or at least when the weather warms up. There's a little firing here. Obviously, people sit around. Pretty popular place. Um, yeah. Broken glass some garbage. I don't know why people can't bring their crap out with them. I really don't know why. Boxes of shells. And there's Jeep way up there. But there was a little spot just back from where the Jeep is. That would have been a nice camp spot too. But if I came down with a rake and picked up some of this garbage, right here would be a nice place. And that would sure annoy people that Wanted to come here to shoot though. Kind of up for that though. All right, carry on. More garbage. camping spot <laughs> just unacceptable garbage floating in the water what a mess. What's the matter with people? Well, screw the place that I always go to. Look what I just found. This place is fantastic right here. Just hang on. It's right on the edge of the cliff. I think I'll camp here, thanks. guys Doug Simpson here um, welcome to my YouTube channel this will be my first video I'm dressed up like the Steve Puff marshmallow man because uh, it's kind of cold up here right now it's well March 9th uh, 2021 and uh, it's uh, getting on in the afternoon um, 
I usually camp at a different spot when I come up here, but when I got here, uh, it was uh, destroyed. It was a complete mess full of garbage and everything else, which is kind of a sad sight. So I'm up here on, uh, uh, it's called Jordan Ridge. And it's on the kind of the side of a mountain. And uh, I'm on Vancouver Island, just outside of Victoria. And this is a very, very beautiful place if you can get past uh, some of the garbage and stuff, the people who come up here to shoot and whatever they're doing, they leave all their crap behind. Just down beside me, uh, it's about 100 feet down, so you can't reach it. There is a beautiful river flowing by. And last night, in I stayed here last night uh, in my rooftop tent, and I was uh, kind of cold, but at least... I had that sound. It's kind of unnerving, I think, to be in the middle of nowhere. It's completely black and you can't, you could hear a pin drop. So every noise is kind of weird. But just that way is the expanse of the entire ocean, uh, at least this part of it. And it is absolutely beautiful. And right now, the sun has come out. I can feel the heat so fantastic. It feels just great. So the purpose of this YouTube channel uh, is to take you along with me on the little camping adventures that I go on. Sometimes um, I can be gone for a week at a time and other times just overnighters. I got a brand new rooftop tent. Uh, it's a Ferretti tent. It's just one of the little, you know, clamshell type thing. Uh, really, it's just, um, if you know what a roof nest tent looks like, it's just like that. Uh, there's a whole bunch, I think four or five different companies that have had their sticker put on exactly the same tent. It comes from the same factory in China. Uh, it's really nicely built. Unfortunately, I climbed into it and broke a zipper as soon as I climbed in. And I don't think it's my fault. I think that the way that they have the doors opening downwards instead of upwards, it was an accident that was gonna happen anyways i have to deal with that uh, another have time some little adventures planned this year but the biggest one is going to be i want to go to the yukon all the way up to Tuktoyaktak, and that is going to be a fun trip i don't have any experience though with uh creating content for youtube i have a music youtube channel I've been a singer songwriter for my whole life, but that uh, doesn't have anything to do with this YouTube channel. This is a completely different thing altogether. However, I will put a link to my, obviously I'm going to put a link to my music channel so people can take a look if they feel like it. But this is really about um, going along with me on some camping adventures. I'm very interested in um, shooting also um, up here now, just taking pictures of uh, some of my cowboy guns against old stumps and that kind of thing looks kind of neat just fun uh, but I'm as I said I don't have a lot of experience filming for a YouTube channel so I'm gonna have to get used to doing that I need to get a decent camera I'm just doing this on my iPhone I need a, uh, a camera with some stabilization to it because it's kind of fun to take uh, video driving into camping spots and that kind of thing on the logging roads but with the with this phone it just shakes around and it becomes terrible it's no fun to look at i'm gonna go to cape scott pretty soon uh, as the summer goes along but july 5th i think is when i'm gonna head up to uh tuk -tuk -tuk -tuk, and that's gonna be pretty cool if you are not from uh british columbia uh, if you've never been to Vancouver Island before, I would really encourage you to come here uh, when it's safe, when COVID's all done. Uh, I would really encourage you to come here and see just how beautiful it is. It cannot be explained. And my iPhone camera is not going to bring out the real beauty of this place. But it is wild and wonderful. And if you get a chance in your travels to come here and look around, you really should. It's a great place to check out. Hmm? 
Mmm. Oh, foggy. Uh, before I left, I guess I forgot to... Well, get bowls and plates. So, gotta make do with what you got. Don't worry, it's clean. Uh, the dog dish. That seems to be working pretty good. Uh, the dog's on here, so they don't mind. Well, dinner time. <laughs> Chicken and potatoes, well, yum. Just finishing up the dishes. That's always fun when you're out in the middle of nowhere. Oh well, feels good to get it done. Dinner was good. Well, it's the end of the night. Not quite time for bed yet, but uh, it's turned into a beautiful night. Still a little bit chilly, not too bad. Not complaining though. There's people in the prairies right now that are <laughs> camping in the snow. So I'm doing pretty good. I'm just gonna turn the camera so you can take a look at the horizon. I'm not sure if you can see too much. Also, uh, got my little buddy keeping me warm here. That's kind of nice. Having a nice little refreshment right there too. That's nice too. Uh, and that there, that's for bear country where I am right now, just to scare them off. Anyways, that's uh, an end to a great night. Had a nice dinner. Had to eat out of the dog dish. That was kind of fun. Never done that before, so there's always a first, isn't there? There's a little buddy here. He's a pretty helpful little guy. Especially when it's getting cold, like it is right now. Very, very chilly. But still fun. Well, it's Wednesday morning, March 10th. Yeah, it's pretty cold up in the tent here anyways. You had to wake up a few times and turn on the buddy heater because... I was freezing to death. Well, maybe not to death, but it was cold. Out here in uh, the west coast of BC, it gets really damp. It gets really damn cold. Cuts through ya. Yeah, it's become miserable. Anyway, I gotta think about getting up. Getting some coffee going, but it's hard to come out from underneath the covers. You're just trying to stay warm and toasty. I'm sure everyone can relate to that. Anyway, uh, we'll see you down there. Not sure if you can see it, but there's ice on everything. So I've woken up this morning to an icy morning. No one ever was so cold. If you look down onto the uh, awning, you can see some sparkles over there. Yeah, it's cold. I was not expecting there to be ice. Wow. That's fun. At least things will be crunchy and not muddy until, of course, it thaws out and it's all muddy again. Coffee is on the way. Almost. Let's get you sorted out. Maybe one more just for, you know, it's a cold morning. Beauty. One thing you notice on the west coast here is that when you wake up in the morning, 
everything's soaking wet. And today's no exception. First there was ice all over everything and now everything's dripping wet. But you know, with a little bit of wind and a tiny bit of sun, which is trying to peek out right now, it's kind of trying to peek out. Um, it doesn't take very long and everything's dried off again. Well, isn't that nice? I found a nice little place in the sun. There's a lot of clouds in that bank over there, so it may not last long. So I'm going to sit down and drink that coffee while I can enjoy the view. That's sure good on a cold morning. Early hits the spot. Got some on my nose, don't I? Yep. Well, it's just so lovely out here. Uh, like I said before, it was pretty cold last night. Um, I had to wake up a few times to get the body heater going, but it's not like it was below zero. It was supposed to be maybe two or three degrees or something, but uh, everything was pretty frosty when I woke up, so may have got a little bit colder than that, who knows. So I'm just going to sit around for a little while and drink my coffee and maybe have a bowl of cereal. Uh, nothing too fancy for breakfast. I was going to cook, but eh, changed my mind. I'll just have uh, uh, some cereal out of a dog dish. <laughs> Oh, am I in the way? Sorry about that. Cereal. Dog dish. It's never tasted better, to be honest. Now you know why the dog likes it so much. I I'll lean forward and you guys can enjoy the view and hear me crunching. Well, it turned out to be a beautiful day out here in Jordan River. Uh, it's just warm and lovely now. So I thought I'd stay a little longer. And I set up myself a couple of stump targets. So I thought I'd um, buy off a few rounds and uh, clean them up before I go home. This is a, like a 1970s. It's 1972. Um, Winchester Model 94. Um, I actually took it apart and redid all the woodwork on it. Gave it this lovely stain and put this cool thing on there. A nice little wrap and it looks like a pretty cool cowboy gun. Um, 3030 is expensive so I do all of my own reloading. And uh, that way I don't have to pay ridiculous prices for it. I hope you can hear me because I'm a little ways from the uh, camera. But uh, just going to pop off uh, six rounds and see how it goes. Shooting in the sunshine. Very nice, very nice indeed. Just as I pack up to leave, I'm kind of three quarters of the way done, out of nowhere, a sunny day turned into a bit of snow, then some hail, and now sprinkling rain. You never know what you're gonna get here. Anyways, I'm almost packed up, but now my awning's all wet, so I'm gonna have to let that down when I get home to dry out.
done for this uh, two-day trip, and we'll see everyone on the next one. All right, take care now.